All right, so we've got our second coat of JB Weld on. It bubbled up and dried, but it's fine. And then it ran over a little bit and dried, but we can just file it down and then we'll be able to get the nut off. Um, we got two batteries dead on the camera, so I got it plugged in, and the cats are playing with the power cord, so hopefully they don't pull the camera down. But so I'm gonna file it this while I'll smooth it out, and then I'll probably take some sandpaper and do some fine smoothing on it. And um, should uh, make it look pretty good, and we'll put some paint on it, and we'll be done. It left a crater where that where that was. May have to put just a tad bit in there. So we're going to get this nut off. Alright, I went ahead and scraped the that part of that sticker off, put some probably take some rubbing alcohol or something and get the rest of that sticker off. Um, but we've got just that little spot right there. I may just put some hot glue in there and sand it down. I'm kinda ready to be finished with this thing. I don't really want to wait for the JB well to dry again. But it's looking pretty good. Alright. I got some hot glue on there. I probably should have filled some of it in to begin with with hot glue and then put JB Weld on the outside or something, but oh well. Once it's sanded down, you won't be able to tell. That's got it pretty good. I'll take some sandpaper and go back over it. But for the most part, I'm pretty much done. Um, I'll get some rubbing alcohol and get this sticky stuff off from the sticker. And then I'm going to throw some paint on it. And I'll show you what it looks like after the paint. Okay. So, our um, little piece is now... Uh, dry after painting it and as you can see in the front you know, catch it you can tell where that hot glue is it just did not sand down very good um, but it looks alright I'm not worried about it you can just barely tell but I had to put like five coats of paint on this thing to kind of make it as good as it looks now so if you do this like I did um, what I would do instead of what I did was, uh, you know, put enough JB Weld to hold that plastic down, and once that dries, fill in your gap here with hot glue, but leave enough, you know, where you can get a good layer of JB Weld on top, or whatever kind of filler. If I had some 
quick epoxy, I would have used that, but I didn't have anything. I just used what I had. So that would have worked better, you know, use the quick, something quick drying to fill up the gap and then use something that you can sand down smooth, um, you know, to fill this other part. Anyway, in the nut, it was dry too. I went ahead and painted it. I may have to take a, a, a brush or something and clean up those, get the paint out of those threads. But actually, it's going on pretty smooth now. So, basically, the way it'll work once it's mounted, well, we'll go ahead and mount it and then we'll show you how it's going to work. Okay. So we'll just fold it down like that. Take our camera. Tighten this wing nut just a little. So we got our camera on securely. Fold it back. Now let's put it on. <laughs> this is gonna look ridiculous. Oh shoot, this camera's a little low, but as you can see, 